Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockroom Supply. Uh, more and more of our customers are getting molding masters and they're using them lots and eventually the sandpaper does wear out on the molding master. Now this head is not worn out yet. This still has a lot of life in it. I'm just using it as an example. Now when your sandpaper wears out on your molding master or molding sander, you have two different options. You can either buy a pre-built head just like that that we assemble here and send off to you or you can buy replacement sandpaper and take the sandpaper off your head and put it back on. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do, of course, is on the top of the sander, you got a little bushing um, or a collar. You're going to loosen off that Allen key here. That'll loosen this up and that will let you take the sandpaper off. So once you have all the sandpaper off, we'll get started here. Once you have all the sandpaper off, your shaft is gonna look a lot like this. So we got one stabilizer on the bottom. You can leave that on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sandpaper, we're gonna go back to back, blue side to blue side, and put that on just like this. Okay, and we're gonna do that again, back to back, blue side to blue side, and you're gonna make an X. Now once you have four sheets on, you then put a spacer. And then, you're gonna grab two more, and this time what we'll do, is we're gonna offset it a little bit. So, this, these two, this pair, is below the top pair. We're gonna start and we're gonna split that sandpaper. This tip about halfway through that bottom pair. And then, once again, make another X. Spacer. And then you're gonna do the same thing. Split that bottom pair and build this all the way up. That's what we'll do next. it's gonna look a lot like this if it doesn't look quite like that that's fine uh, everybody makes them a little bit differently but it should look somewhat like that at least so at the very top yes you're gonna put one more stabilizer and then your collar right at the very top now you'll notice um, there's no shaft left this sandpaper now needs to be compressed together now what I like to do to use it and a lot of you guys have this at home already is a drill press I'll show you right now how to compress this head with a drill press. So let's head over there. Okay, so I got my antique drill press here. This is just one we use. Any full-size drill press will work. Um, on the bottom of my table, I got an old crappy table saw blade. And I'm gonna put this half inch shaft through that blade there, just like this. And then, um, this right here is just a piece of shaft, but I gotta make this a little bit skinnier here first. With that chuck, just press down, and you can use a piece of plumbing pipe like this, or a copper pipe, let me go a little further yet. It works, this works really well though. So once you have it there, then you can just press it in place. Now you wanna press it, uh, you don't want to over press it, but you want that to be pressed about an inch and a half, two inches. And then once you have it there, while holding it, it's a little bit tricky, but you're going to tighten this Allen screw. Okay. So that right there is your pressed head, and it's ready to go back in your Molly Master. Now, if anybody else has any questions, you can email me at info at stockroomsupply.com or just comment on the video. Now, if you want to see future videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell button.
Thanks for watching.